Today we are going to learn about how to move an element on the GUI of Tkinter Python. So how we can do that? First of all, we will import our Tkinter library because this is the only library through which we can make our GUI. So we will write import Tkinter is Tk. Why we need to write here as TK because TKinter is a long word. If you want to use this, it's better to uh, use this simple one and it simply means that we are using TKinter. So import TKinter as TK. After this, the second library is time library that is import time. After both of these libraries are imported, we need to create our GUI and for it we will write master is equal to tk dot tk now this small tk is our representing our library while this capital T and then k is representing a function or sub module of this main library and by calling this function our GUI will be created and it is given to the master variable okay now master variable is representing our GUI that is graphical user interface now we have one function that is called as the canvas sorry we have one variable that is called as the canvas underscore width we will write here as like uh, 500 and canvas underscore height and we will equalize this thing to 400 okay so these are just the two variables so if you want to change the name of these variables you can it's not a problem we, we just want to store 500 and 400 values in some what is called as the variable so so that we can use them okay now we will again we will equalize them to uh, like a canvas width is equal to W why we are doing that because again canvas underscore width is a bit lengthy so that is why we have equalized it to W so rather than writing this uh, canvas width as a whole we can just write W and it has the same meaning and uh, same is for canvas height like this canvas underscore height now we will do one thing that we will declare our one more variable that is called as the canvas is equal to okay on canvas we can draw okay we can draw certain uh, shapes as well as if you want to write some text on it we can okay so canvas canvas is equal to tk dot canvas okay now this canvas is a variable you can change its name but this tk dot canvas is actually representing a function of the tk library what we need to do is to insert the parameters inside this canvas function so we will write here master because master is our main gui name you can see okay master comma width is equal to okay w we can write w and height is equal to h now we will write canvas dot pick okay now this is our like a, a peg function used to uh, used to alloc allocate certain position to uh, certain elements okay so so we will do it like that okay now we will draw some text or we will write some text on this canvas you know that uh, canvas is like uh, a thing on which the painter used to draw so the same thing we are using here we want to draw some we want to draw some shape or if we want to write some text so gui uh, is having some 
like a UUI is having some uh, thing that is called as the canvas or function. Okay, now again we will write t is equal to canvas dot create underscore text. Okay, so this function, okay, this thing create text underscore text is important because it is a well defined function of module canvas. Okay, of because oh, now this is a variable, but is all these things are assigned to this so we can say that this variable is is representing these libraries these functions okay so rather than writing all this we are just writing canvas so canvas dot create underscore text and what about its supposition so we will write here 20 comma 25 comma text is equal to okay like uh, we will write nelson Nelson okay so so text will be created and then we will see that our uh, text will be on the what's called is the uh, GUI or canvas now we need to write canvas dot update or we can just write master dot main loop okay okay so this is our termination terminating statement so we will write it like this and now we can see that we have written nelson here okay our uh, nelson text is on the gui okay now we will move it out how we can move it we have one function on canvas that is called as canvas dot move canvas dot move so we will write here t comma 2 comma 16 okay t comma 2 comma 16 and we will write uh, here wait uh, one more thing that uh, time dot sleep is a function that is used for delay if you want to create a delay of one second between uh, between uh, this statement and this statement then we can write time dot sleep one and this statement will be executed after one second so so now we will run it out we will see that where our okay wait either it is going somewhere wait uh, t t2 comma 16 okay wait we, we have to uh, add some more okay some more coordinates and it will move now we will also need to write canvas dot update okay because uh, updation of canvas is a bit necessary okay in order to okay now again copy all this okay we need to again write here we will write here like 28 canvas dot update and time sleep one okay now we will run it out we will see either we will observe some movement yes we can see some movement okay so uh, can we like uh, do it for one more time if we want to see some more movement then okay so we will write it like 38 okay so now in this way we can move any sort of like a component or text on the python or the ginter gui so hopefully you got the concept that how you can move the text on the tkinter gui so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe